Hey guys, welcome to another Healthy Indoors Minute. It is summertime right now. A lot of people are worried about humidity, as we should be. Um, and as we build this house, we are also thinking about moisture. So I had a really excellent conversation yesterday with a client who is in uh, one of the cold climates where it still gets hot and humid in the summertime. And they were concerned about uh, moisture diffusion. But there are all kinds of materials that you can get stuck on and kind of get fixated on the small things when we talk about building science theory and wear vapor diffusion and the thermal bridging and all that stuff. You want to remember to stay big picture. Think about just healthy indoors. And that has to do with moisture control, heat bleed control, air flows and pressure control, and then also obviously air quality contaminants, things like that. So one of the things that you can do is just choose things instead of choosing things like foam board that has a permeability rating, and that's how you rate how much moisture can move through things, and that is a big one. You wanna make sure that moisture can move through your building if it wants to. I've said this before, I'll say it again. Moisture in air is like a teenager. If you stop it from doing what it wants to do, it's probably gonna find out how to screw up your life instead. So don't stop it, just slow it down a little bit. If you choose things like mineral wool, um, this is rock wool brand that we're putting on that house, if you choose things like that Georgia Pacific force field on the outside, that is not a plastic wrap around the house that's gonna stop moisture from coming in or going out. It's permeable. That's all great, do that. Make sure that vapor can come and go as it wants to. If you get the air sealing done right, then you don't have to worry about most of the vapor. But no matter what materials you're choosing, make sure you also have lovely machines to take care of your humidity levels. This is an ultra air dehumidifier. It's gonna go into our finished house. You can see how big it is. Weighs about 200 pounds. We have another one for the other part of our house that pulls 33 pints per day. This one, this big guy pulls 105 pints per day if it has to. We want to make sure that we never have to do that. That would be insane. But uh, we do have a crawl space. It is going to be dehumidified with an uh, active radon system. If you want to know more about that, follow our build on the Atlanta Homestead on the Home Performance Channel. But uh, in general, you just want to make sure to stay big picture. Remember to choose components that have the right properties. And when I say right, I just mean within a window of what you're looking for. And then also choose engines that are gonna help you to mitigate whatever problems do crop up because of course accidents happen. It's construction, these are buildings, they do different things depending on the weather. And of course the weather is changing now, it's not staying the same. So you can't really use historical data as your benchmark for everything that you can expect to see in the future. I hope that this has helped you to learn something. We keep on learning things, keep an open mind, ask more questions, make sure to subscribe to Healthy Indoors Magazine Tune in next time.